like we're just trying to see if we can get it back up. Yeah, it's yeah, so I understand. Uh, yeah. So uh, okay. Yeah, because we lost like that. E. T. versus yeah, Zebra, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, got, got got some Belmont. Another inkling on stream. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Molding and attack of the inklings. Does this just happen? I just removed one inkling, and now we might have two. <laughs> It's like we, I ain't ragging anything, but we'll see if Zebra's gonna bring down the ECs and make it endangered to just one. Zebra gonna be coming in with the Incineroar. We got to see them last stream, uh, last set against, if I'm not mistaken, Why Delirious. So I uh, had a little bit of a wait, but now she's so looking hot, fired, hopefully living up to the fire in the Incineroar ever and see if you can try and get this win on ET to make I mean, it into the top eight. Yeah, and I mean, these two players definitely having played each other, both, uh, I mean, Zebra being an uh, alumni of Belmont University and E.T. being current Belmont University undergrad student and you've, they, these two have played quite a bit and uh, I mean the story of this, the Cinderella run of this tournament has been Zebra coming from that 40 seed just bodying everyone and you know Let's see, can he get top 8 here? That would be humongous mm -hmm. for the Incineroar player right now. We'll have to see. Of course, Incineroar has always been like a little bit of a crowd favorite down in this uh, Middle Tennessee Monthly. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when Zebra's been on stream, he's just been able to get a lot of people hyped. So we we'll have to see how that all shape up in just a little bit. Of course, now he's trying to set up for the offstage situation, sacking on a little bit of damage. Hey! And during capture recovery, you can't be autopiloting Inkling just because oh, you got an easy no. recovery. You can't be autopiloting. And he's... now this is where Zebra starts to get fired. Starts going for big reads, starts going for big hits oh yeah i mean when zebra when he has that advantage when he's feeling himself he can be as dangerous as anyone and, all right uh -oh. up there up there not gonna go for it that would that would still confirm at that percent but maybe not this one but like it's still kind of tricky maybe it's looking for just positioning yeah i mean that didn't i mean the the like Maybe just trying to get him to go off stage and, you know, try to use Incineroar's, you know, lackluster recovery against him. But wait a minute. Ooh, okay. We can at least get that roll to at least get that stock off. Not too much extra credit. However, this is sort of the position in which you have to play as Inkling. You can't be playing too much with an obvious pattern. Because we saw with that recovery how your stock can just be deleted in the blink of an eye. And I, yeah. as an Inkling myself, I've seen many times in which, like, Inklings start to get too comfortable. You mm -hmm. think, like, okay, I have one of the best recoveries. I have a really good like good options with regards to that Oof. drag options oh wait okay oh. i can oh. actually see that doing on purpose but and maybe it still worked out regardless wow like zebra has been finding all of the magic with incineroar and just busting out all the tricks but wait a minute oh okay and yeah definitely you know with incineroar and, and, and inkling it's definitely one of those matchups where incineroar can just delete the stocks and if you're playing too obvious it's that punish game from zebra Ooh. known to be very good. Oh, B. I love that like empty hop from um, ET to like yeah. try and set that up. A lot of times like Zebra was expecting a lot of the aggressive options, mm -hmm. so sometimes that mix up can get into a play. You are in up throw up air range with this ink. However, can you like land it? Oh, All right, there you oh, go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally yes. getting his time. Yep. And Zebra now starting off with a pretty good start, but now he's down to his last stock in game one. And let's see what can ET do to hold this lead. And this is definitely this is definitely the position that you want to be if you're ET. Mm -hmm. That definitely you know can hold on to his stock, and you know definitely prefers to be in the offense or be in the driver's seat of this game. Yeah. I have seen a little bit of issues from ET getting some of those like confirms off of Nair and some of those mm -hmm. other areas. So Zebra, however, ET has just kind of won neutral regardless. Mm -hmm. Sometimes comes into the area of just good spacing, knows a lot of times when Zebra wants to burst in. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe he was expecting, whether that was intentional or not, that worked with the DIN, was able to get yeah. the stock in regardless. Yeah, no, definitely. Zebra has been getting that mix-up and using that uh, that second variation of the, of the side B. Getting, getting kills, kills off the top, top especially in Pokemon, Pokemon Stadium. Stadium. He's mm -hmm. been looking a lot for that. Oh, oh nice snare. snare. Ooh, this is scary too because you're starting to set mm -hmm. up those options. Your damage starting to stack yeah. up, and this can make some people play scared. Uh oh. Ooh, up smash. Got no, cats that jump yet. out, but now 120%. One more roller. Up throw up air is also in this position. Yeah, but you can't be playing too obvious. Zebra on top of that, probably looking for a jump off stage. Not able yeah. to catch onto it. Was expecting a neutral get up. But up throw up air is oh, going to booyah. do it. Yep, yep. the booyah getting them. And yeah, yeah, I was going to say for a second, uh, maybe if, uh, if Zebra could have gotten some sort of revenge. Some sort of down B charge up with that with that counter and that store that stores that hit. He could have been a lot closer, but mm -hmm. ET just staying vigilant, staying there, is playing his game and that booyah working wonders for him in that game one. Yeah, and just how wide that range is on Incineroar. Pretty sure that's like 
fifteen percent, sixteen percent range. It's yeah. wide, and yeah. it's just because of how heavy it is, how he falls, and just in general, those characters will have long ranges. Yeah, but no, it's it's pretty it's pretty easy to for him to hit that mm -hmm. on Incineroar. So we'll have to see how that all will shape up. Of course, we're going to be taking it to Game 2. Pretty sure it was Battlefield in this Small, I think it was Small Battlefield. Small Battlefield. That's interesting. Maybe looking for the smaller Blast Zones to kill Inkling and uh, make, make Zebra's life a lot easier mm -hmm. trying to kill that Inkling. And, you know, E.T. definitely making it a little bit hard, except for that first suck, of course. I want to think... I want to think as to what ET banned here, or if it was yeah. just a comfort pick, because of course Town and City usually a stage you don't want to go against Incineroar. Yeah. Smashville is usually a comfort pick for Inkling, so they're usually fine with keeping that stage open. But it's still a very good small start stage. Small space and small blast zones are able to work off pretty well. So it makes you wonder why Battlefield, because that's a big stage. Oh, You're gonna get it some kills very kind of late, and maybe it's gonna case like maybe I don't want up to up air to kill us early, but like. Maybe mm -hmm. it's a layout. I can see it being a layout situation. Yeah. I mean, definitely in this... Oh, the roller coming out. In this case, I mean, Incineroar does like to benefit off of those platforms, can extend some of the combos that he has, and just allow him to, you know, maneuver better around Inkling's options. And Ooh, I like the idea. The yeah. issue is if you miss it, you're completely in disadvantage. Yep, yep. You, you, you lose your turn in advantage state right there, going for the all for one, but... Yeah. Maybe that's just what he needs to do to try to get back into the game right now. If he can land it, it definitely works. I mean, yeah. we can always say if it worked, it was good. Yeah. But <laughs> so if it doesn't work, then it was bad. In hindsight, <laughs> you suck. <laughs> you can't get it. Oh, expecting to roll in, but not able to get to it. But he's going to catch it with a roll on whip. No, that was accidental. That yeah, was accidental. That was definitely accidental. Definitely was looking for the, for the clothesline there. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Now keep in mind also, Incineroar does have kill throws as well. Up throw will kill off the top. Mm -hmm. Forward throw will kill if you catch it with a neutral getup. And back throw, we, back throw is historically strong. Yeah, and all but one more up, up throw up there. Uh, up throw up air. <laughs> Almost got tongue twisted right there. And yeah, I mean, it, he's been, that's been his bread and butter. To kill. Oh, oh my god. Now keep in mind, Back air into grab only confirms after 20%. Yeah. If it's before that, that will inherently be in range for to get the turn first. So good option from there to do that neutral B and able to catch that situation. Yeah, and what knowledge from Zebra to just to know that he gets his turn right there. He knows what percentage is it. Oh, oh. Not able to get it confirmed. Also, yeah. if you ever get those low percentages, you want to jump immediately so you can get that like opening as well. But oh. now Incineroar has the Rage on deck. Yeah, there hasn't been too much reward from Zebra the set, but we'll have to see how that all shapes up. Now with the lead, looking for an yeah. offstage situation. I'd yeah. honestly just hold center stage and kind of gave it up right there. Yeah, but he's yeah, getting he it right back. back. And I mean, one of the things that I maybe like to see Zebra do more is you see if he can get that revenge and make his life a lot easier to kill uh, Inkling with that down B stored up. But wait a minute. You know, I mean, E.T. not making it easy to get that kill is sort of a cat and mouse game going on, but the up! Oh. I'm also just loving the way that Zebra's just dash dancing around mm -hmm. the platforms around the stage. And you see so many times when E.T. is just trying to mash an option, he's just trying to like throw a hit. He wants to hit Zebra immediately. The problem is like, Zebra knows that type of game plan, knows that if I can just stay grounded, the hit will come and I don't need to overextend. Mm -hmm. Really maybe saying like Battlefield wasn't just for the blast zones, it was for the layout. It allows me yeah. to move around that blast zone at least have more vertical positioning. And of course Inkling likes to catch people on the ground because they don't have many big hitboxes that aren't that back air. Mm -hmm. And as a result, any character that can move around is just so good in those type of situations. And especially with the lead, Ooh. Zebra is just on top of the game. Oh no, yeah, yeah he's, he's looking, looking poised to win this right now. And oh. this is dangerous if you're ET, of course. I mean, Incineroar, big guy, he's not going to die that easy. Oh, oh my god. Ooh, was expecting that roll in, but not have to get too much. Now ET might be firing a little bit, might be getting a little bit oh, panicky. Yeah, getting guys a little antsy. And oh, you no. see so many of those, like, overextensions. All those oh. jumps, the two are starting to get caught as well from Zebra. Uh-oh, Zebra using that neutral B. Definitely trying to play this. You spin me right now. Oh, oh. that was amazing. Wow, wow, the roller. Like, so many people grab in that situation. So many people expect that. So it's likely he dropped shield to avoid yeah. that grab. And at that point, he's just going to go that roller and try and say, like, let me bring this back. I want to close this out. I want to get into top eight and take a break. Yeah, man. E.T. definitely going for a little bit of uh, a little bit of freestyle on his own. And that roller working out. And But let's see, man. It's still in Zebra's favor as... Uh-oh. 
Yeah, no, he's still trying to get that kill, and E.T. just sort of playing around, trying to see what he can bait out. Of course, that neutral be not working out for... He's starting to bring it back, too. Yeah. And now Zebra's starting to throw out just random options. Yep. He's getting a little fancy here, trying to get a, trying to get this kill at any cost. He does not he does not want to let this man live for another second. And now that's even up, ET can actually just play this ground. He doesn't yeah. have to approach. Oh, wait, that oh. might be it. In the clothesline. Ooh, oh. you should end up air dodge. He air dodge wow. at the end. If, like, if you ever air dodge it, like it shifts your hitbox to the blast zone. Mm. So that's why a position like that. You have to jump if you're inkling. Wow. And Zebra getting that win right now. And he's going to game three, the Belmont matchup. And Zebra making him work for this, and let's see, man. Can Zebra pull off the another yet another upset and make it to top eight? Mm -hmm. As a uh, yeah, man, he's been playing out of his mind in this tournament. And ET, that final sort of hurdle that he needs to get to over to get to top eight. That's gonna be a scary thing as well. Now with game three, I think um, just shows a small battlefield right there. And when it goes down to Inkling, also it does a really good on small battlefield. But now with the close line space, you're able to at least get those hits and confirms a little bit better compared to like a battlefield pick that has that top class zone to worry about. Yeah. So we have to see how that all goes into play. Now when this game three, of course you see like he's gonna rely on dash stances, wants to get those burst in. Zebra knows as well, has to play it patient, has to like hatch on those options as well. It's very like a scary situation that you don't want to overextend. Neither person wants to go home right now. Yeah, neither person wants to be out at ninth. Both these players, I mean Zebra making the crazy run in ET. Of course, one of the one of the premier seeds, one of the premier players here in this tournament. And uh oh, wait a minute. Trying to look for an offside situation, yeah. not able to get too much. And now this is also a situation like where Zebra's not trying to overextend. Like we saw a lot of times in which like before when he tries to up shield out shield like that, he's getting punished. So mm -hmm. there are many an op situation in which he doesn't want to throw out anything, but then when he throws out something, he's not choosing the correct option. I feel like he needs to start watching as to how ET is pressuring him and then counter option. Like is he approaching with four there? Is he dashing in? Yeah. Is he just getting those options? Because I think ET is getting away with a little bit too much. Yeah, man. I mean ET, I mean, in Zebra's perspective, he's probably just seems overwhelmed, but you know, ET just making it making it work and I mean, if he can get away with it, I mean, definitely will try to get away with it. And, you know, right now, Zebra trying to close this stock out at any cost. Mm -hmm. Of course, that revenge coming out. I mean, he's definitely, he's looking for something. Oh, that eats through your shield. That eats yeah. through shield. Because they have all stage. I've seen, I have yet to see Zebra punish that roller. Oof. I've seen that many times ETK away yeah. with that, but you're not getting away with that jab on shield. Mm -hmm. Zebra at least going to get that up B, and we have to see how that old shape up. Trying to stack on this damage, but now, now this is where Inkling loves to be holding down center stage, wanting a ledge trap, wanting to get those options. Once you to force out an option and panic so you can get a roller, Inkling a really good character at catching your mash. Mm -hmm. And I mean, Zebra right now, I mean, he's just. Oh my god. Oh. Let's see what he can. Oh, oh. no. Get another revenge. I mean, he's trying to incorporate that into. Try to see if he can catch ET putting out a reckless aerial, but. Yeah. ET not giving him the time of day to. Give his, give, let him stack that revenge. The main thing is they're adapted. They, he's yeah. adapted to the point that, like, he, of course, Zebra wants to revenge revenge there. So there's no reason he has to re run haphazardly with the shield. And now if you put that back here, you're outside of that up throw upper range. Keeping that in mind, let's just waiting for that one grab. Now one stock away from moving on through this, this bracket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, this is it. This is the tournament stock for Zebra. And, I mean, the two fabled people, you know, two Belmont players right here. Let's see who goes and who gets away with it. Of course, E.T., sort of the, the, you know, the premier Belmont guy, but Zebra, let's see what he can do here. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. And he I've does. just seen so many issues in which, like, Zebra's trying to go for a big read, not yeah. really utilizing a lot of those other safer options to go off of it. He's just going for either, like, a big up B out of shield or going, like, for a big side B. It's just kind yeah. of that haphazard gameplay that's punished him. But that oh, up B out of shield yeah. off the parry is able to work it off, saying, like, shut your ass up, Toledo. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it definitely does seem like something. I mean, if he can get that, I mean, the mental damage that must come from getting, from getting hit by those big reads... Uh, definitely, definitely something, something that Zebra might look to hit each, uh, ET with, and uh, uh oh, but right now it looks like ET might be closing this out. Mm -hmm. Honestly, no, 20 more percent, you're in up throw up air range. Mm -hmm. You're trying to get into that, of course. ET's trying to just stack on that damage to try and find those options. Uh, also, kind of throwing out Rolo too much, and at this point, like, 
there's no reason for ET to, there's no priority in this case for ET to grab. Yeah. And that's because Zebra is just like playing outside of that range and you're outside of up throw up air. There's no need for you to overextend. However, Zebra, you just have to play grounding. You just yeah. have to wait, wait for that overextension. They're gonna wanna roll out, they wanna close it out with roller. Ooh. Just wait and just react. Yeah, man, and Zebra, now like, this is a more than doable, uh-oh. Okay, now it's in Zebra's favor. And he, he has, has no ink, ink. uh-oh. ET. Oh, what was that? Up the up is not gonna do it. Oh, he oh, jumps out of it. it. Wait, now oh, I do it. That's it. I think that's it right there. Yep, there wow. you go. E.T. the booyah to send him into top eight, and E.T. finding that after missing it pre uh, in the first try.